In this video, we are going to walk through how to use the Visualizer program to run your document camera through your computer. So on your document camera itself, there are a couple of features we wanted to highlight. You can turn the angle of the document camera so it's not just how the entire structure is facing. You can just twist the camera to change that angle. There's also focusing so you can press the autofocus and you can turn on and off autofocus. There's also changing the exposure to um, brighten or lighten uh, your uh, view and you you can adjust uh, multiple points along the arm to get the exact view that you are looking for. So that is your actual document camera, but to open up the visualizer program, click on the start menu and start typing in the word visualizer. And then you can click on the app, the picture or the name, and then it will open up on your computer. We're going to move it full screen here. There's a couple different menus that we are going to highlight. The main menu that you need to um, note is down in the middle. The camera icon is the main default view. So the snapshot is kind of the normal way to use the document camera, but you can also switch to the video camera icon to record what you are doing. This is really great if you have absent students. If you click on it to start, it will have you select where you want to save that recording. We're just gonna click documents and save it to documents. Now it lets us know it's recording what we are doing under the document camera. We can pause, mute, or um, it will record our voice. And then that is saved automatically. There's other video options like slow motion, stop motion, and time lapse. You can also choose to use text to speech. It would be easier if we had a full article um, example where it can um, transcribe that information. There is a masking tool that you can also adjust so it is wider or uh, thinner and you can change it to a full mask as well um, by clicking on the mask icon again so it will mask the whole screen and just have that um, clear view. Then we'll click back on the up arrow to open up our options again. You can choose the magnify feature, which is kind of like setting a magnifying glass over the top of your um, document. You can drag that around. This can help give you an extra zoom. The zoom um, will show is over on the lower left menu, so that can give you a little extra way to zoom in. And then we're going to move back to snapshot and there's actually an annotation tool um, under this option where you can draw using your mouse um, on the screen. So if you don't want to actually draw on the document that you have underneath the camera, you can use this tool to highlight things for your students. You can erase individually or clear all and that will save if you want to take a picture of the screen, you can click the um, camera icon um, during uh, that option and save that and post it to Google Classroom or share it with your students. So there's the zoom over on the top left, like we mentioned, um, of that left menu. And then there's autofocus, which we just clicked. That's the bottom option. So you can click autofocus at any time. There's some rotate uh, features um, where you can kind of spin uh, things around if you need a different view. Then there's a keystone adjustment, which changes the angle of the document camera. So if you need to slightly adjust that, you can come here and change the angle um, of what you're viewing. And there's also the flip horizontal and flip vertical options. Um, and then of course that autofocus. So that is the left menu. Um, in addition to all of the different camera views. Then in the upper left, you can expand the menu, select your camera and change some of the um, views and filters, add some grid lines. It's pretty subtle, but you can um, select to lay a grid over the top. The select camera option at the top might be important if you have updated your computer and you open up your document camera and all of a sudden it is showing you your webcam view. Um, that is where you can click select camera and change it from your webcam to your document camera again. There's also the freeze live image that can be helpful if, it, helpful if you need to pick up your paper or move it around or you just want to have kind of the same image shown up on the screen. Uh, you can click freeze live image. And you can also adjust to manual focus if you need. So if the autofocus isn't quite getting the view that you need, you can change that. And then just uncheck the manual focus box to get back to autofocus. 
So that menu in the upper left has the select camera and the freeze live image. The main settings are in the middle and on the left to use Visualizer. Don't be afraid to try them all out and check out all the options in that program.